Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Alexandra Brown. I'm a board certified dermatologist and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am in my 40s and navigating perimenopause right alongside of many of you. So today I wanted to kind of walk you through the supplements I personally take to help support my skin, my sleep, focus, my bone health, as well as that healthy aging as my hormone levels shift. Now I want to make it very clear. This is not medical advice. This is just what's working for me, what's personally been very helpful to me. And if you find this helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more dermatologist back to skincare tips. Now let's get into it. First of all, even though I just said this is not medical advice and this is what's just worked for me, you also need to make sure you understand that supplements are not FDA regulated. So things that I'm going to say here today are things that I have noticed while taking these supplements or the reasons why I'm taking the supplements and how I think they're going to benefit me. I am not endorsed by any of these brands. Um, all of these except for one I've purchased myself. None of them were gifted. One was gifted, the rest I've purchased. So let's dive into this. What's helping me and how's it helping me? And also just because I'm a dermatologist, I'm not really taking these for my skin. They will help my skin, the collagen will, we'll talk about that, but I mostly take them to help support my sleep, my focus, my immune system. I really want to age very healthy, age gracefully, especially as my estrogen declines and the inflammation increases. Also of note, I am very petite, so I am at increased risk for uh, osteoporosis and breaking bones as I get older. So that is also gonna be focused here as well as building muscle and keeping my immune system where it needs to be. And something else I wanted to bring up, my husband and I are very much into researching supplements that we take. So we don't just take any supplement. He is more particular about this than I am to be honest. And he likes brands that have third-party research because you really just don't know what you're getting. Anyone can make a supplement and sell it online. So always make sure there's third-party testing and it's a well-known reputable brand if you decide to take any of these. I just said I'm petite and I need to take my vitamin D. So my vitamin D, I like to take vitamin D3 with K2. I'm personally taking the sports research brand. This is the vegan vitamin D3. It has the K2 in it as well. And I've had a question about this on my TikTok and Instagram pages before. And we'll talk about why K2 is important. So this particular brand is plant based D3 that's sourced from a lichen, which is paired with K2, and it's particularly the MK7 type of K2. And this is derived from fermented NATO. What does vitamin D do? Vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium and phosphorus, which is essential for bone health, immune function, and even mood regulation. The K2 is what makes sure that calcium ends up in your bones and not your arteries. So why I take it, I happen to be vitamin D deficient. I think when I checked it years ago, it was 20 something and it's supposed to be much, much higher. So I take 5,000 international units. So it's one of these and they're tiny uh, of note. If any of you are averse to swallowing capsules, these are super tiny. They're itty bitty. They're pretty easy. When my kids were younger, I actually taught them to swallow pills by having them use, uh, we just use Target brand uh, vitamin D supplement, itty bitty dose, like thousand IUs, and we didn't do it every day. We did it like once a week, but it was a good way to get kids to learn how to swallow tablets or swallow little tiny capsules. So anyways, that's besides the point. I take 5,000 international units of this one daily. Important to remember, vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, which means you need to take it with food for optimal absorption. So I tend to take this with my lunch. I prefer this formulation because it's vegan, it's non-GMO, it has that K2 to enhance the effectiveness of the D3. And there was a YouTube comment on one of my previous videos um, asking why am I taking the K2? And the answer is taking K2 with D3 is beneficial because D3 helps absorb calcium and K2 ensures that that calcium ends up in your bones and not arteries. So for me, this combination is a must, especially for bone and heart health in perimenopause. Okay, another supplement I take is magnesium and there's so many kinds of magnesium and I'm going to go over those, but the one I take is the Momentous Magnesium l threonate. This is a patented form of magnesium a patented to magtane that crosses the blood-brain barrier. So it's shown in studies to help improve memory, learning, and focus. It helps with sleep. It does definitely help me with sleep and it's supposed to help with cognitive function under stress. It's really gentle on digestion compared to some of the other forms like the magnesium citrate or magnesium oxide. Why do I take it? I take it in the evening, about 60 to 90 minutes before I intend on going to bed. It helps me wind down. I take this with my progesterone. I'm on 200 milligrams of progesterone. The serving size 
has is three capsules. So three of these with the progesterone is like a perfect cocktail for perimenopausal insomnia for me. And unlike some of the other forms of magnesium, this one also helps support the brain health directly. And I do notice a difference. I'm a little bit more clear and calm the next morning after I take it. So this one has helped me. I have taken other types of magnesium that didn't work very well for me. That might be not the case for you. And I'm going to briefly mention them. The first one that's worth mentioning is magnesium citrate. This one is most commonly used for digestion and regularity. It tends to work better in the morning because it may have a little bit of a laxative effect. Then there's magnesium glycinate. I have taken this one before. It claims to calm. It's a very well tolerated option that's often used in the evening to promote sleep and ease anxiety. It didn't do much for me personally. There's also magnesium oxide. This one is probably the most commonly used one, but it's poorly absorbed and it's mostly used as a laxative. So it's not ideal for long-term supplementation. And then there's the L3NA, which is what I'm taking, which is supposed to help support brain function, brain health. And it's the one that's shown to elevate magnesium levels in your brain. Next supplement I take is the fish oil. And this one's tricky. I've taken fish oil before and definitely got the burpy fishy taste. I do not get that from the Momentus brand and it's going to feel like a Momentus ad. I swear it is not. We have subscription and it is uh, rather pricey to be honest, but we have a subscription and it arrives every month. And I take two of these. This is highly purified IFOS certified omega-3 supplement that's sourced from wild caught anchovies and sardines. It does not taste like anchovies and sardines. Now we do keep our refrigerated. This one uh, provides the EP and DHA, which are the two essential omega-3 fatty acids for heart, joint, brain, and skin health. It can help reduce inflammation and help maintain that skin barrier function and hydration. It also official is known to support cardiovascular health by lowering triglycerides. I take this with food around lunchtime. So this goes with my vitamin D. It is absorbed better and there's less of a GI upset with it if you take it with food. I like Momentus brand because it is third party tested and it doesn't leave a fishy aftertaste. And speaking of Momentus, again, I did purchase all of these. Momentus creatine. This is pharmaceutical grade creatine monohydrate. It's made in Germany. It helps boost ATP, which is your energy cells, production in muscle and brain for that improved energy, strength, and cognitive performance. This helps maintain muscle mass, brain function, especially important during perimenopause when both of those are going to decline. So I do five grams added to my coffee in the morning. It doesn't taste like anything. It blends right in. I do use a little frother, but you really don't have to to blend it in. I feel like it helps me feel sharper, stronger. I don't. I feel like it helps my cognitive function. I feel like it helps my muscles. There are small studies that show you that you can take up to 10 grams, especially after workout to help muscle recovery. I honestly have yet to remember to do that. I do take 10 grams occasionally, but every morning I do five grams of this in my coffee along with some collagen that we're going to talk about in a little bit. Again, it tastes like nothing. It does not ruin my coffee at all. And speaking morning coffee, there's one more thing I put in my morning coffee and that is collagen. I have now tried four different brands of collagen. I currently have two that I'm taking. I really wanted to get a Verisol type of collagen and I wanted powder, but all I could find at Costco are these capsules. They're okay. I did since get also the Pause Nutrition Skin and Bone Collagen from Dr. Marie Claire. This was gifted and I like both of these and let me tell you how I use them. First of all, the reason I like both is because they both contain Verisol Collagen which has small studies that show that it may improve skin elasticity with continued use. I don't know how much of that I've noticed. I'm honestly not willing to stop it to see whether or not it's working. I plan to continue to take Verisol Collagen for a long time. I may switch brands. I'm not sure of that yet. Verisol collagen contains the bioactive collagen peptides, which are clinically studied for skin health in particular. It is supposed to stimulate collagen production in the dermis, which is that second layer of the skin that improves your skin elasticity, reduce depth of the wrinkles, and helps strengthen even the nails. It does take 8 to 12 weeks of consistent use to see results. It's easier absorbed than the gelatin-based or larger peptide formulations. I just switched over from another brand to Verisol because it's specifically studied in the skin. I'm using the capsules with my lunch, but I have been using the powder version with my coffee in the morning. So every morning I've been doing the scoop of the Pause Nutrition Skin and Bone Dietary Supplement. The serving size is two scoops. I prefer one scoop of this with one scoop of creatine in my coffee, and then I try to get another scoop of this later in the day. Or what I've actually been doing on the days that I'm going to work is I do one scoop of my powder in the coffee in the morning, which is really easy. It tastes like nothing, just like creatine. My coffee 
tastes amazing. And then with my lunch, when I take in my fish oil and my vitamin D, I take two more capsules of the Verisol because this calls for four capsules in a serving size. So I really get a half a serving size of my powder and half a serving size of capsule. The reason I'm doing this is because the powder has been so easy to add to my coffee and it's completely tasteless. The capsules have a little almost like a little aftertaste plus you have to drink them with a lot of water and if you do that if I do that at night with my magnesium and my progesterone I'm just up peeing in the middle of the night and that's really just not my jam so I take two of these with my lunch and the last supplement that I take here and this one's probably the least important to be honest with you is the thorn zinc picolinate this dates back to COVID days so when COVID first hit there's this whole you know not just ivermectin craze but like zinc supplements and things like that and um, I picked zinc picolinate because it is highly bioavailable form of zinc that's really gentle on your stomach. It's super duper absorbed. It supports immune function when it's supposed to. There's also small studies showing that if you take zinc prior to your Botox, it will prolong the duration of it. I, it did not do anything for me personally, but I have continued to take it. It's been five years now, and I really just take it for that immune support. Zinc also participates in over 300 enzyme reactions in your body, so it's not a bad one to take. Of note, if you take magnesium, zinc and magnesium should not be taken at the same time. They will almost like cancel each other out in your stomach and not get absorbed. So my zinc is taken with my lunch, whereas magnesium is taken with my dinner. Now, if you've made it this far and you're super duper confused, how do I keep track of this? I'm going to show you a little thing that has worked so well for me. And I got this on Amazon. This is not sponsored, you guys, but these are amazing. And the reason, so this is my Monday through Sunday. They have morning and evening dosing and they make them in like three times a day if you want to. And Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are not in here because I take them to work. I see patients on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays every week, sometimes on Friday if I'm teaching. But um, these three just go straight to work with me and this one has stuff in it. So let me show you morning AM. So this where it says AM, that's really my, I've already taken it. That's my lunch. So I do that with my lunch and then PM. Sometimes it's in here if I'm traveling, but if I'm not traveling, then it just sits in my bathroom. When I brush my teeth, I take my progesterone and my magnesium and there they are. And it fits a lot of capsules. I can fit everything in here. So even the fish oil, even the big collagen capsules, um, this is on Amazon. I'll make sure I link all of these down below as well. So that's everything I'm currently taking. These supplements help me feel better about what I'm doing, how I'm preparing for perimenopause. They definitely help me sleep. I feel like I do have more energy and which results in me working out more and sleeping better. Overall, it's a win-win for me. I hope this gives you like a helpful starting point if you're curious about what's out there and what might be worth discussing with your doctor and what might work for you. If you have any questions or future topic ideas, make sure you drop those in the comments below and I'll check them out. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok at Dr. Alexandra Brown. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. <music>